Hello, I'm ready to go over your homework tonight, which was to finish workbook pages 121 and 122. Let me share my screen with you so you can see what we're doing. There it is. All right. So I'm going to move down over here. As you can see on this page, we had started in class and some people had split their shapes different ways. Whichever way you did it, we should get the same answer if you did your multiplying carefully. So I'm going to do the multiplying for the first set of dimensions. I'm going to use my workbook because there's not a lot of space in our book. And you can see, let's see if I can get rid of this. I'm not going to worry about it. All right, we had 24 for, fig for the first figure, 24 by 8 by 6. So I'm going to do that work. 24, let's do 6 times 8, I know is 48. And then I can do 24 times 48. If I regroup and add my zero, looks like I should have 1,152. And for figure two, we had six by eight by 10. Again, six times eight is 48 times 10 would give us 480. I'm going to take 1,152 plus 480. And I'm going to get 1,632. Now, let me get to my book to see, just to see if that is correct. That is correct. 1,632 cubic centimeters. All right, there's that first one. A lot of you were working on that in class. Number eight is very tricky, lots of big numbers, but if we work carefully, let's split this figure right there. Then you can see I have figure one would be a length of 30, a width of 15, and a height of 15. Figure two, if I made this one, this will be two. We have a length of 35 a width of 22 and a height of 15. So the heights match on that one. So if I do figure one, 30 by 15 by 15, that's what we're working on. I'm gonna scooch this over a little bit. That was figure one. If I do 15 by 30, I'm gonna hang that zero. I have three times five is 15, regroup. Three times one plus one is four, 450. I still have to multiply that by 15. So I'm gonna hang that zero again. Five times five is 25. Five times four is 20, plus two is 22. Zero placeholder. One times five is five. One times four is four. Add them up. I do have a zero that has to drop in here. And then I have, 6,750 for figure one, 6,750. Figure two, I'm gonna do that work. We have 35 by 22 by 15. All right, 35 times 22. Looks like that would be 770 times 15, I'm gonna hang that zero and do 77 times 15. Drop down the zero that's been hanging out. Looks like we get 11,550. When I add those two together, 6,750 and 11,550. I'm gonna add those two together. Looks like I should get 18,000 
300 cubic millimeters. That one had some big numbers in it, so be careful with your multiplying. Let's look at number nine, this little toy truck. Some people ask me, what is this two labeling? Well, if we draw a line here, this line has not been labeled. That two is labeling the height of that little figure. So I'm gonna call that figure one on top and figure two on the bottom. For figure one, I have then a length. Well, the entire truck is nine inches. I see three on this side and four on the other. That gives me a total of seven, eight, nine. So that gives me a length of two, a width, I'm looking at how wide it is and I'm looking at parallel sides, a width of three and a height again of two. I can do that work. Two times three is six. Six times two is 12. And then for this bottom figure that I called figure two, I have a length of nine, a width again of three, and a height of two. So I'm gonna do three times two is six. Six times nine is 54. When I add 54 plus 12, I'm going to get 66 cubic inches there. That one, we had some smaller numbers to work with. Here, it looks like the figures have already been split for us. So I'm gonna do figure one here and figure two up in the back. For figure one, I can see 15 is the length. I have a width of 10 and a height of five. 15 times 10 is 150 times five. I'm gonna go ahead and do that work and get 750 for that little figure in front. The figure in back, I have a length. I'm looking at parallel sides. I see the length is 50. I see the width is 30 and I see the height is 12. So I'm going to do 50 times 30. That's 1,500 times 12. I'm gonna hang those zeros. I'm gonna do the adding and bring those two zeros down. It looks like that's gonna equal 18,000. So when I add 18,000 plus 750, I'm going to get 18,750 cubic millimeters. I'm sorry, cubic meters, not millimeters, cubic meters. All right. I'm gonna move my notebook to the side for now. Here, you need to write an addition expression to model the volume. So I don't actually have to solve, I just have to model what would be the expression. I'm going to start the same way. I'm going to split my figure. Figure one would be added to figure two. So that's why I have an addition expression. Figure one is 12 for a length. It has a width of five and a height of three. Figure two has a length, if I look parallel, a length of four, a width again of five, and this time a height of six. And there's my addition expression for that solid figure. All right. Number 12 has some missing dimensions. I'm gonna start the same way. I'm going to split my figure right there. And I'm going to look if this is figure one and this is figure two. I have a length for figure one. I can see parallel sides, I have a length. I need a width, which is this missing side. I'm going to look parallel all the way over and see that that would be 12. And then I have a height of 10. For figure two, I have a length. Well, I cut some of that length. I cut eight of it. So that leaves me a length of 20 times. Here's my width of 12. My height, where would my height be? I'm going to look at parallel sides. Well, if I look way over here, this is 10. But 
some of it is not there. This part got cut off. This three got cut off. So I'm going to say that is a height of seven. So our, our dimensions there would be 20 by 12 by seven. All right. So let's see if that works. If I do, um, let's do eight times 12. That's 96. 96 times 10 would give me 960. Here, I'm going to do 12 times 7. I'll get 84. 84 times 20 would get me 1,680. If I add those together, I'm going to go to my notebook. 1,680 plus 960 is going to give me 2,640, I'm going to put it up here, cubic centimeters. There, I'm going to box my answer up there because I used my line for my dimensions. All right, one more. If I split this figure this way, so I'll have figure one and figure two. For figure one, I'll just use this space again. I have a length of four. I'm looking for a width. So I'm looking for matching parallel sides. I'm going to find the width is four. And then I'm going to have a height of three. I'm going to do that work for, oh, and look, I found that dimension right there. It should be a four. And I'm going to do four times four is 16 times three is going to give me 48. For the next figure, I have a length. This is going to be figure two. I have a length. I added this bit. So I have five and five is 10 plus that four is going to be 14. My width again is going to be four and my height again is going to be three. So I'm going to do four times three is 12, 12 times 14. Let's see what happens. Looks like I'm going to get 168 there, 168. If I add 168 plus 48, Looks like I'm going to get 216. Oh, I forgot to put that measure up there, didn't I? That side had a measure of 14. I'm going to get 216 cubic inches for a final answer there. All right, number 14, it could look a lot of different ways. If you were able to draw a composed figure that has a total volume of 36 cubic feet and label it, I'll look at that in class if you wanna show me that. They can look a lot of different ways. The last one has us doing the alternate way to find volume of these composed figures, which is the subtraction. So remember, we think about this as a full rectangular prism. So I have a length of 12 times a width of six times a height of 10. And now I have to imagine what this cutaway piece looked like. So that cutaway piece, if you imagine it, it got cut right here. So four of this 12 got cut. So it would have a length of eight times a width of six times this height. So this height, three of it is down here. The whole thing is 10. So that means that part is seven. So we would have 12 times six times 10 minus eight times six times seven, and that would be an alternate way that we could find that volume. All right, I hope you were able to complete that either with me or you came here to check your answers. We'll talk about this tomorrow in class. See you then.